and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. Today we have an exciting Loungefly haul full of secondhand products and a few grails. That's right, I said a few. <laughs> So let's get so, started. Yes, I'm going to be doing a what I'm calling secondhand haul, which basically just means that I got all of these bags from the secondary market. Most of them, if not all, I think all of them are no longer available, at least in the US, from any retailer. So I'm going to go through them and show you guys the bags that I bought. Most of them were bought from Facebook groups. Um, a few were bought from Macari. I will go through them as they come up and I have two, two of my ultimate grails that I bought in this video or I bought recently and I'll be showing in this video. Um, you can also tell there's a few spots where things are missing behind me. Um, I also have my Halloween background up. That video of me putting it up will come be coming soon so stay tuned. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and film this video beforehand so you don't get spoiled for the bags that I bought. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the sequin bags I bought. I know I said I'm not a huge fan of sequins. I know, I know. But I actually bought quite a few of the older bags and <laughs> spoiler alert, I might have more coming um, because I just couldn't resist at the steals that I got them. I got most of them for retail, which is incredible. Retail plus shipping, of course. Um, so I'm really excited. The first one that I got is the purple potion bag. So yes, this is the purple potion bag and I did add stuffing to it. It came unstuffed and the like front pocket was completely like empty. This one I think she said was either new without tags or just like barely used. It looks brand spanking new. Like look at this. Um, Sequins have grown on me quite a bit recently. I still don't know if I will wear these in the park. Um, I think that these might just be display pieces. I don't know yet. Oh, also this did not come with it. I added that um, to help straighten up the ears, but actually they look fine now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. But yes, this is the Purple Potion bag. This, I remember when this line came out and it was such a huge deal. It was like one of the first ones to come out, I think. This one maybe and the Millennial Pink one were the first two to come out, if I'm remembering correctly. And like everybody went insane over them. And I love it. Look how sparkly that is. The only thing that I don't love is there's no bow on it, but you know, that's okay. This one I might consider using because it is already been used I believe so when the tags are cut off but you know my sensory issues with synchrons they're so pretty but I I don't like wearing them in the parks anyway um let me go into detail on this bag. so like I said this one was barely used it does have side pockets which is nice this bag came out and I want to say 2018 ish um and oh there's a thread loose. That's okay though. And yes, so I bought this secondhand and I restuffed it with all of my stuffing. Look at that. That's so adorable. The polka dots. I feel like a lot of the original Parks bags had polka dots as the interior lining. It has silver hardware. Let me close it up so you guys can see it better. It has silver hardware. It does not have a heart logo, which I actually don't know if when exactly they switched over. And the like the material that these straps the bottom and the back are made of are like a metallic-y like faux leather material i would say which is not the most durable material because i've had bags made of this before and they didn't they were not super durable i've also heard stories that it's not super durable but this one is absolutely adorable so this is bag number one i'm gonna tuck it right in here and have it in our bag. Okay, moving on to the other sequin bag. This is one that I actually think is my favorite one that's ever come out. I think it's so adorable. I think it's so versatile. It is the mint sequins bag. I think this is so cool. I love more like pastel y sequins versus like bright sequins, even though I do love this bag. This one might be my favorite. I also love that the bow is a different like contrasting texture um 
it's super cute obviously has the disney parks logo gold hardware side pockets just like the other one it's pretty much exactly the same as that one except it does have a bow and the um nameplate is up here instead of down there this one is new with tags it did originally retail for 90 dollars, and i don't remember how much i paid for this it was 115 i think with shipping so probably like 100 flat which is not bad at all for this bag this bag normally goes for about 150 and some cute polka dots like i said the the like sequins bags are all like polka dots inside i don't really have that much to say except i feel like this one's super versatile because you can use it for christmas you could use it for spring like it's such a nice color if you too. want a versatile bag i will say these sequin bags are really good because you can use them across multiple parks multiple different places any one of the disney parks so yeah, that's my So that was bag. the last sequin bag. Now I'm going to go back to Halloween <laughs> and fill this hole right here and show you guys this one I have been wanting for a really long time. And I was always hesitant on buying it because um, of the straps, which I will show you guys. And I decided just to bite the bullet and get it. It is the Tightrope Walker um, Haunted Mansion bag. So I actually traded for this one. I traded my Santa Mickey bag that I got um, for this bag. Um, so the trade was amazing. Absolutely loved it. Um, the woman was great to work with. She actually was in the UK. So this is still available in the UK apparently. Um, but I traded for this bag. And it has obviously has fur texture on it. Which is... I'm hesitant to use it because of the fur. But you know whatever um i love the tightrope walker in um the haunted mansion i think she's probably my favorite portrait um i don't know if she's my favorite character from the haunted mansion because i think that constance is probably my favorite although there is a fan theory that the tightrope walker and constance are the same person let me know what you guys think of that down below um but this bag is absolutely stunning it is a different style to what i normally would buy which is just like the standard mini backpack style it's more of like a not a drawstring quite but like a a bucket this bag is that what it's called um it's still absolutely gorgeous and i feel like it's subtle enough disney that you wouldn't know that it's disney if it didn't have like the nameplate you know what i mean like it's one of those if you know you know type of things um it doesn't have side pockets fyi no side pockets it has this expandable zipper so if you want to make it bigger it is actually a drawstring bag so um, it captures her essence it's without being super overt um, but the thing that held me back was the straps. It's one of those ones that's like you can convert it into like a purse too. And I wasn't a huge fan of that. And I also don't love the like these kind of non-padded straps. I prefer the padded straps personally, but that's just me. Yeah, this is absolutely a gorgeous bag. Let's look at the inside and see what the lining is. I actually don't know what the lining is. I didn't ever look at it when I first opened this bag. Oh, okay. I don't know how easily you guys are going to be able to see this, but it's like a, um, like a dark purple or dark, not purple. Yeah, but I guess purple, dark purpley red Haunted Mansion, um, wallpaper. It does have an interior pocket, which is nice. And the hardware is the MTV hardware if you are interested in that i think this bag is super adorable the price definitely has gone down in the u.s since they did the re-release of this in the uk so if you want it it's not super out of budget um you can also get it shipped directly from the uk there's a couple different services that will do that i've never personally done it but i have heard of people that have done it so and we're moving out of halloween into christmas <laughs> so this is a bag that i've been wanting for a little bit um i do collect i collect beauty and the beast but specifically the winter bell and beast scene of beauty and the beast if i collected all of beauty and the beast i there's so many bags out there but this scene specifically is what i collect it's my favorite part of the movie um it's very very cute they have this beautiful scene i'll just do a little pan out in my favorite part castle in the background and it has a um 
specialty zipper pull of the uh, like a snowflake, which is nice. I actually don't think any of the ones that I've shown you so far, except for this one, have a specialty zipper pull. So first for this link, um, I think that it just blends super well and it's not peeling. That's like a protector, by the way, on the label. It has a front zipper pocket. This is, I think, my preferred style of bag as far as like carrying it goes. So I definitely will probably end up carrying this one. This was exclusive to 707 Street last Christmas and has sold out since. I don't know if they're going to do a restock. Um, this one I was able to purchase for retail plus shipping, so I was happy about that. It does have side pockets and padded straps, and then the back hit. I actually don't know what it says. Who could ever learn to love a beast? Which I think is super cute. Again, came in perfect condition. Let's look at the interior. Oh, it's just the Beauty and the Beast like title. It's super cute, simple, nice, cute. I mentioned rose gold hardware, which is interesting. I feel like they don't make a lot of bags with the rose gold hardware. Either way, I think this bag is absolutely adorable and I love it. And it's one that I've been searching for for quite a while. Um, I actually missed out on buying it in stock and I regretted it afterwards, but I'm so glad to finally have it. The last two bags before my two grail bags are both go in the same collection, kind of. If, with that being said, these two are both ones that are sold out. Um, I'm gonna start with the one that I purchased off of Mercari. Um, by the way, everything up until this point I purchased on or traded for on Facebook groups. This, I think, is my first Mercari purchase in this video. Um, his ears are a little bit forward, but that's okay from the shipping. It is Gus Gus. He is so adorable. Too, too close, too close. Look at him. I love this. Look how big his ears are. His ears are, like, almost the size of my face. Um, but... I love this and I think he's going to be a great addition to my sidekick collection. A um, little hint as to what maybe the next one is. Um, I think he's absolutely adorable and one of the coolest things is his nose is like actually puffy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Be able to see that. <laughs> um, and one of the things that I was concerned about was that his shirt was actually going to be like um, like knit material it's not it's like suede so it's much more durable than i thought he does have a specialty zipper pull which is the little pieces of corn from the movie um and it is silver hardware there is a hidden pocket up front you guys know how i feel about the hidden pockets they're very useless so i will just keep his on the edge right here he does have side pockets um the back hat says take it easy cluck cluck so I feel like this is very much like based on the scene where she's like tossing out the the corn to the or the the grain whatever you want to call it to the um oh my gosh to the chickens <laughs> couldn't find the word uh this one was new with tags this one I also bought for what I believe is retail I actually don't know what retail was on this bag it was released on box lunch a long time ago um it still is available for retail in the UK I think it is just green with um, little Gus Gus's. I will say, as controversial as this might be, Gus Gus is not my favorite mouse from um, Cinderella. My favorite mouse is Jock. Um, and I have a feeling that they might come out with a Jock eventually, but and then I can have the two of them together, <laughs> which I think is absolutely adorable. And if you didn't know, I do collect um, mostly Disney princess sidekicks. I also collect other sidekicks, but Disney sidekicks is one of my biggest collections currently. And it's one of my favorite collections I have because I love sidekicks and like lesser known characters. So I'm so excited to add this to my collection. There are very few princess sidekick bags that I still want or and I don't have and this was a great addition to add. All right so within that same collection I bought another sidekick bag so a little sneak peek of it and it is Pua! No I did not buy this on the restock. I actually bought this right before they announced that they were doing that restock. Um, if you don't know I think it was like 
two months ago maybe that they announced they were doing restock of this bag specifically there and, and it is used which is fine because i actually do plan on using this one next um, time i go to disney and do like a pollination photo shoot they're also opening the way of the water in um epcot soon Either way, this bag is going to get use out of it. I love this bag so much. There are literally no, no like, flaws. It's, like, perfect used condition. Um, let me sh come up close and show you some of the details. His face is, like, screen printed partially and then embroidered on partially. Um, this is technically the FTSE collection. It was exclusive to loungefly.com, I want to say in 2022. Maybe it was 2021. But you can see his little arms and his little feet, which is part of the reason why I like this one better. Because I feel like you get his whole body versus just his face looking a little weird versus the old cosplay. It does have silver hardware. And one of the things I like is it's kind of a hidden pocket. Even though it is, like, obviously a pocket, it's a little more hidden. But it's still useful, unlike some other pockets. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Um, the nameplate right there, as I said, cool silver hardware. One of my favorite details that I didn't even know. The straps have little hibiscus flowers on it. How cute is that? And the crossbody actually has like a little pocket in the hibiscus flowers, which is absolutely adorable. The back hit is just him hiding in the bushes, which is so adorable. I am more of a Pua person versus Hey Hey. I know Pua is like barely in the movie he's in the movie like what the first 20 minutes and then not at all i still love him more <laughs> um this is the interior lining it's just the same pattern that like the footsie like the ears in the foot is has plus like poo sprinkled in if you can see that you can kind of see it better there either way i absolutely love this bag and actually this is my first moana bag yeah which i love this so much it's so cute yeah okay, we're moving on to my two grill bags that i bought if you heard that i actually put one of them in a protector the other one i'm just gonna go ahead and show i'm so excited and it goes with this collection right here any guesses before i show any guesses what i bought you saw my show me your girls tag. I did talk about both of these bags. So I bought the ghost house bag. I'm so excited to have this in my collection. I will say I bought this for a very good price, but it is not in the greatest condition. You can kind of see there's some dirt on it. Um, some threads coming out, especially on the name tag. Um, the like bottom part is perfectly fine. It's just this like top part and I did try to clean it. And I like, it would not come out. So if you have any suggestions on how to clean this stain or this stain, let me know down below. I will take any help that I can get. <laughs> um, this bag was a Parks exclusive in case you were wondering, which I didn't know. I thought it was like this bag and was a box lunch exclusive. Um, but it is so, there's so many details. So let me show you. First of all, it is made of like a canvas material. This is also made of like a canvas material. The only parts that are leather are this black part right here and then like the black detailing on it. Um, silver hardware. And then this is like a plastic, like a hard plastic. You would think it would be silicone, but it's hard plastic name tag. And then it says from regions beyond below it, which I don't know. Do the actual name tags say that? Let me know down below. This is a um, snap front pocket, which or not my favorite fun pockets if I'm being completely honest, but I can live with it. This one is also shorter than normal ones. Let me try and see if I can get here. This one's gonna be a good comparison. It's like slightly shorter and like smaller width wise. Still super cute though. Um, This one I do think I'm gonna use just because it is used and it's like not in great condition. So I don't feel bad about using it even though I did pay above retail. <laughs> On this one um these last two are the ones that i paid the most for i absolutely love it still i actually don't know what the interior lining is i think it's black oh no it's a continuation of the like pattern that's so cute um like i said i bought this one on mercury super cute it does have side pockets the only thing that i don't love is these straps I've already talked about, I prefer padded straps, but you know, 
there are not a ton of haunted mansion bags that i like love and these two are pretty much the only ones that i like really really love because i'm not a huge fan of like aops and a lot of the haunted mansion bags are aops or like cutesy art style and that's just not like my preferred I, I really do like the like straight from the movie art style on scene bags but that's just me um so yeah I think this will be my last haunted mansion bag for now unless they come out with one that like blows my mind <laughs> but yes yeah, so the last girl that I bought this is the most I've ever spent on a bag but this is also my ultimate grail bag ever like ever 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 and i'm so excited to finally have it i will give you another chance to guess what it is can you guess it's the make it pink make it blue aurora bag if you didn't know sleeping beauty is one of my childhood like favorite movies and the three fairies are some of my favorite sidekicks they were at one point my favorite sidekick tied with like tinkerbell but I love fairies in general and I love Disney fairies especially and I just love this bag it's gorgeous I actually got a pretty good deal on it considering the price that it goes for nowadays it goes for quite a lot of money nowadays um and it is like rail status like up there with a lot of older bags um I think it came out in 2020 I want to say I don't know um but I did finally buy it and it has like all of these sparkles can you see it? and they're like foil sparkles um but yeah I finally bit the bullet and bought it because I saw it for a really good price the only thing is it is damaged on the bottom you can see that there's some creasing but I don't care I'm not gonna look at the bottom I'm just gonna be on display like this um but let me show so you like i said there is some silver foil stars throughout it which i think is absolutely adorable there's some like stitching like her dress there's obviously the paint splotch which is beautiful um i love that this is like lighter but it still like continues that paint splotching um there's uh flora fauna and merryweather on there which i love no side pockets but that's okay i don't plan on ever wearing this bag fyi and this is going to be a displayed in a protector <laughs> bag for me which is i don't have any other bags that i put in protectors i do have one like drawstring um dust bag that i put some bags in but otherwise i just they just sit out like this and i dust them i love this bag like look at this one of the things that I love is that it's majority blue and I am a blue dress girl. I'm sorry if you are a pink dress girl. I am a blue dress girl. But the side pockets are each one color. Obviously a front pocket, zipper pocket. Let me show you the back. Look at this. One pink, one blue strap. And then like this, I love the way that they did this. They like alternated things in order to make it like pink and blue like look at this like literally look so gorgeous oh and the like foil detailing continues on the side and the back oh my gosh i just noticed that the back hit which i love i'm obsessed with this birthday cake somebody make me this birthday cake <laughs> for my birthday one year i love that it's just such a gorgeous bag i can't get over it i love it so much I'm so excited to have it in my collection. When I tell you I was like staring at the tracking for this, staring at the tracking. The inside is kind of boring if I'm being completely honest, but I don't care because the outside is just gorgeous. <sighs> I'm so excited to have this in my collection. <sighs> so there you go. That was my grail haul, my secondhand haul, whatever you want to call it. Um, some of my best Disney lounge fly finds recently. Um, I'm so excited to have all of these in my collection and I have had to expand my storage situation FYI <laughs> because of these bags. Normally I do a one in one out but these ones I just could they're just so gorgeous and I love them so much. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, please subscribe down below for more magic from me and like the video if you liked it and comment down below what's your favorite bag 
that I got today in and what your grail bag is because I am now without a grail bag because I bought my grail bag so like what do I do now I don't have a grail bag to hunt for um with all that being said I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you later bye <laughs>